Candy Hurtado is an ethnomusicologist from Hauha in the highlands east of Lima. She's studying rituals and has come to Nazca to record the water festival. In the Andean worldview, we understand that time is not linear, but that it is cyclical. So that we are always, through ritual, connecting with the past, the present, and the future. We're connected to our ancestors. We are connected to the people that come after us in a very real way, as well as to the environment. The environment is also considered our ancestors. Peruvian archaeologists studying the environment to piece together the Nazca story have made surprising discoveries. Using drone images, they've identified a different type of geoglyph. Not on the flat desert plateaus, but on the hillsides. Así que ahora nos toca ver si podemos aclarar mejor estas figuras y Johnny Isla and his team are restoring his latest discovery, a very faded geoglyph. Tú por aquí para empezar a un poco limpiar las piedras que están caídas. Más o menos se ven los trazos, ¿no? Entonces yo creo que eso va a ser más fácil. Years of erosion have damaged the geoglyph. Johnny's team moves stone after stone by hand to re-expose the lighter layer below. It's a painstaking process. When we realized that on the hillside there were other figures, other geoglyphs, we realized we have to change the way we thought and look to the hillsides where we didn't think there were any drones. the team has revealed the outline of a group of people walking. But it needs more work. A golpe de 12, se hace una pausa. The desert hillsides have long been overlooked. But now, there is newfound interest in them. It's really one of the most striking finds of recent times. It's the mountain cat, the pampas cat, an animal in danger of extinction. Almost 10,000 miles away in Yamagata, Japan, archaeologist Masato Sakai studies drone footage from the Nazca Desert. He's turned to a high-tech method of searching for geoglyphs, artificial intelligence. At the beginning, we were looking at the northern Nazca Plains where hummingbirds, monkeys, and other famous geoglyphs are concentrated. We let AI learn from these famous geoglyphs and other data from this area. By analyzing aerial images, computer algorithms can spot the cleared surfaces that form the figures. Once the AI knows what to look for, it begins scanning the desert for patterns that appear human-made. The software homes in on a very faint shape. We discovered it is a geoglyph of a person holding a club in the right hand. 